Today is an exciting day because we are decorating for fall, which it's taken me a second to get into like the fall mindset that summer is over, but I'm actually so excited because the fall decor that I planned for this, guys, like it is actually so cute. We have bar cart, we have entryway, front door, kitchen, living room, like there's so many good things. And we have free printables that are actually cute and like not tacky at all. So I'm taking you with me through the entire process. We go shopping, we decorate, we do the DIYs, the whole shebang. Well, I haven't done it yet, <laughs> as you can tell. This is pre-fall, but I already did go shopping and the stuff that I bought is so good. So let's go. Okay, so this bar cart, this is my vision. I have it written out on my phone. So, so this I wanna change out. Did I come in like a full on squat? Um, this frame, we have the cutest thing in it right now. This is free. All of these prints are free on our website. We were trying to like create, Sarah and I, we're trying to create artwork that wasn't tacky or like childish or too Pinteresty looking, if you know what I mean, for the bar cart and really just for all around our house. So we created this one a few months ago. I'm like obsessed with it, but I was thinking that we could do such cute fall themed ones. So on this one, I thought it'd be really cute to do like booze, you know, like a boo, like Halloween boo. Um, so we did booze on this one and then that one is super similar to this one in the fact that it's like fall cocktail recipes. All right, so here's what the printables look like. Also, before anyone comes after me, we already know that bourbon is spelled wrong and there's another mistake somewhere on here. Oh, of course. But when I printed this, we didn't know. So now on the website, they're fixed, but these, aren't these like so cute? So I'm gonna get, um, this one's gonna go in this frame and then this one is going to go in that frame and I think they're gonna look so good. I want to get rid of this for the time being and replace it with um, a pumpkin candle. Okay, and then on top left side, candlesticks with gold, wait, gold candlesticks are like, I think they're brass actually, with those twisted candles. So the twisted candles, I bought these from CB2 and I've been waiting like a week and a half for them to come in. It was over the holiday weekend, so maybe that's why it takes so long. Um, but they're still not here. And then um, below, okay, what's my vision for below? Oh, I was gonna do another coffee table book and then put this bowl below it. Okay, so like envision coffee table book, this bowl filled with pumpkins, which I think will be really cute. And then this is the thing I'm like by far most excited about is, I have to keep bending down because there's angle, is um, I got the cutest cocktail glasses from H&M and they're like black. So they kind of go with that like moody fall vibe. So I'm super excited about this whole little setup thing. So let's go attempt to make the candles and set the rest of it up. I went to New York City, we decorated Sarah's apartment, filmed the whole video for that. So go make sure to check that out. But now I'm gonna finish decorating my apartment for fall. I'm still loving the bar cart situation that's happening right in front of me, you can't see it. I also got those candlesticks that I wanted, so I'm excited, I'm gonna switch those out. Um, now the plan is, is I'm going to decorate my living room, the kitchen, the entryway, it's like a fake entryway, but the entryway area, and then, Possibly the front door. I have the cutest things for the front door, but I'm missing the doormat. I ordered it from Etsy and it's still not here. So maybe if I get lucky, I can find one at Target or something that I can use instead. But let's get into, I think we should start with 
I guess we'll find out in two seconds once I think about it. So my plan of action with the living room area is I want to, I got a few new pillows. So I'm going to like switch out some of the pillows for more fallish ones. Um, the coffee table right here, I'm going to restyle that and I'm going to try to use things that I already own. Um, or I'm going to have to, I think I got like one or two new things for this, but I'm going to make this more fallish. And then on the other side of the couch, I have this table and that's what I, I've never like actually styled it. I've kind of just popped things on that. So I'm going to style that more for fall. I don't want it to be like too throw open your face fall in here, but still cute into the season. So I'm going to take every single thing out of here and then start placing things. direction that I want to take this um, table and I also think that this is probably not going to have a lot of fall to it at all. I'm really just styling it. Playing around with coffee table setups and this just looks stupid right now like this does not belong here but what I'm going to try to find is I'm gonna go into my decor closet I have this closet that just has decor in it and I'm going to see if I could find a vase for some hydrangeas um, and then I don't love this all right I hated where that was going so I'm going back to the original coffee table and just gonna add like a few fall things to it these are also from a floral and are so pretty i love um dried hydrangeas and i think this will just add that fall element of color to it since if you can't tell i like neutral maybe i can see what was broken okay i didn't film but this is what i ended with I don't know if I love it and Charlie, a girl that works for BSL, was joking. She's like, it kind of is giving me 4th of July vibes with these hydrangeas and this blue pillow. So, um, you know, this could be a fail, but I don't know what else to do with it. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. And if I want to change it later, I will. But I think that this is, this is sufficient. All right, the entryway. So for my fall entryway, this is my fake entry that I was talking about. I kind of want to keep it like a similar look to how it is already with the canvas, the mirror. Um, I'm replacing these two with this one, um, which I'm going to show you in two seconds what I'm doing with this. I pre-filmed that area. Um, and then I'm going to do candlesticks right here, changing out these books with a black pole. And that's it. So this one will be nice and fast and easy. But let me put the clip where I'm explaining what I did with this thing. And then we can put the printable in there. So I found this frame that I loved from West Elm or CB2, one of them. And it had a super thin border just like this with a thick mat. But it was like $70, like literally $70. So I found this frame from Target. Um, and I am going to spray paint it white. It was only like $20, so that is a way better price than $70. And I'm hoping that it'll give me like basically the same look at half the price. So these are some more of the fall printables that I have on the website that you can print out for free. This was printed at Office Depot and the quality kind of sucks, which is annoying. But um, if you print it, I mean, usually the quality doesn't suck that bad. So I don't know why this time it was, but I just asked for it to be printed on cardstock. And then for this frame, I'm going to use the Oh Hey Fall print. off 
off with a bowl and two books. The bowl's not gonna go there, but the books are going to go like this. And then the bowl is gonna go on top of it for like keys or whatever doodads there are. All right, it wasn't looking right to me, so I added this bowl of pumpkins right there. And then I also moved that over more. I don't know, I just feel like it looks, if you come down, it looks better now. Before it looked almost like naked. All right, we are currently in DIY mode, trying to decorate the front door. So the first thing that I'm doing is making a doormat because that one from Etsy that I ordered didn't come in. I did order this one. So eventually this will be here because I can't return it now since it's like handmade, I think. Um, but since that's not here and for the sake of this video and just trying to get this done, I am DIYing a doormat. So I DIYed one last year. It was so easy and it lasted all year or like all season, which I was kind of surprised at and it's so easy. So I just got this doormat from Target and then these letters are from, um, where are those from? Hobby Lobby. And so I'm just going to write boo and then I just have one of these, you know, like spongy things. It's not focusing and some black paint. And so I'm just going to tape that down and then um, blot it out and it should be good to go. simple i wanted to do this but white pumpkins aren't out yet because i'm decorating so early so i will do this like closer to halloween so for the meantime we have a planter i got this planter from amazon it was kind of really freaking expensive but i'm gonna use it like it's one of those classic ones you can use over and over again summer whenever um and then i just got a mom i think still needs to bloom but once it blooms it'll be really pretty and then i have this which is from Target that I'm gonna layer like two mats. So I have this one and then the boo um, doormat that I just made will go on top of this. I think that's gonna be really pretty. And then this is the winner of it all. Isn't that so pretty? So I ordered this on Amazon and honestly it was like it's gonna be cute, but it's like not gonna be that cute. This is so cute. Like it is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. I hope it lasts because I like love it. I want to use it for like a few years. So that's kind of the plan. the kitchen so honestly this is kind of like the least fallish thing that I'm doing in here I'm mostly just styling it but I took everything out I kind of I've like had it the way it is for a year now and I'm sure you know like after a year or a certain amount of time you kind of just want to refresh so I'm just refreshing it a little bit with um, some things I already owned I bought a few things but I cleared everything out besides behind the stove we're gonna leave those there and style around it and let me show you everything that I got. So first up we have this vase from Target. And then I got these white pompous from Amazon, which I'm just gonna stick in here. And then I'm gonna put it in that corner back there. Okay, they also said that if you leave these out in um, the sun, they'll like get bigger. So I'll do that eventually for them to get big. Feeling in my bones I can feel it in my veins Hands Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this picture wall kind of ruins it, but this is like the real part of my life, so I wanna keep it there. Um, 
my boyfriend, Ben's parents got this for me for my birthday. So I'm just gonna put this in the corner and then I have really, really cute stuff to decorate on top of it. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen it. Okay, so far it looks so stupid, but I think I'm just gonna keep going with my vision and see if I can make something work, which this is like so sad. Okay, so original vision was to have that book open like that and then have two of these, which are so pretty, like next to it and then like that in front of it, which I wasn't even positive on that one. I kind of like this candle better, but I feel like it's almost like competing with the other two. But do you know what would be even prettier is if I got some... Halloween candy and put it in a bowl like right there but shoot I wonder if I have any other cookbooks that we could possibly use all right this is what I ended on is it the cutest thing in the world definitely not but for now what I'll do it's also feeling a little busy so we might switch it out um but I added this towel in which I like I moved that over there so the last thing I have to do is just do that should probably be wiped down, but put something right there. And then the kitchen is complete. fall decor which is crazy it took me so much longer than I thought this is gonna take like this took a stupid amount of time but I think it looks really cute I hope you had fun watching that I know I had fun decorating and just getting my apartment together I cleaned so intensely before I decorated that it just feels like a brand new apartment now which is so exciting so make sure to subscribe to the channel we're doing so many fun things we're starting construction on the house soon we're flipping the house if you don't know it's gonna be insane we have a production crew filming it um for like a tv show so that's super exciting i started tiktok so follow me on tiktok i'll wrap this up but i will see you at the next video